my fellow makeup enthusiasts. Welcome back. As promised, I'm going to be doing a really quick video. Will it be quick? Probably not, but the first part will be quick. I promise. I will be succinct. I am capable of that sometimes. As you know, I currently have a giveaway in the works. I'm looking for a new home for the products in February Sephora Play that I don't think I'm going to use or maybe I'm afraid to use and I'm going to explain why. If you don't want to hear why, I'm going to be quick. Okay. The cutoff for entry is going to be at 11.59 p.m. on Thursday, March the 1st, Central Time. There are three trial size products in the giveaway, and the first one is the one that I think is the most exciting. It is the Peter Thomas Roth Firm X Peeling Gel Exfoliant, and I think that this is probably a really good product, and I think I might even like it if I tried it, and let me explain to you why I'm hesitant to try this. It's nothing bad. It's absolutely nothing bad. In the fall of last year, I was trying every single skincare sample that I was getting. Now, at one point in my life, I was terrified to try new skincare. I was just sticking to what I knew and I was having no problems with my skin. Well, when I started trying everything, at first I had no problems and then I started getting this extreme redness under my eyes. It was very heroin chic slash riffraff from Rocky Horror and it wasn't cute and I have never had that kind of skin irritation before. And then it started getting dry and it started cracking. So the skin under my eyes was red and cracked and it stayed that way for about three months. And I finally got rid of it with a SkinCeuticals product. And so I'm really, really scared to try anything new on my skin. I do use Clinique, I do use Belief, and I do use Dr. Shramick and SkinCeuticals. And that's kind of my safety net right now. Anything beyond that is a little bit scary for me, but I do have a really controversial skincare product that I'm going to do a video about. And I'll explain that in that video. Don't judge. But yeah, I took a solemn vow that I wouldn't use any more skincare samples for quite a while. And so I'm going to stick to that and hopefully somebody else can get some use out of this. Um, and let me know how you like it. But this actually does sound like a really good product. I'm kind of kicking myself for deciding not to try it. And I probably will go to the store and ask for a sample in about three to six months when I have my confidence back. It contains pineapple and pomegranate enzymes, so I imagine that it smells really good and you know that's a big selling point for me. It is supposed to be very moisturizing. It's supposed to be good for dullness on the skin. It's supposed to even out the skin texture and minimize pores. Now, I don't give a rat's ass about minimizing pores. I don't know why I don't care about that and I feel wrong for not caring about pores. I have pores, I'm human. I don't really care if you can see them. But a lot of people do really, really, really want pore minimizers, and this is supposed to help with pore minimization. The other two are much easier to talk about because they're lipstick and eyeshadow, not skincare, which is a lot more complicated to talk about. This is a Sephora brand Rouge Matte Lipstick in the shade Rebel Chic. It's kind of a reddish berry tone. It's a color that I would wear. The reason I am putting this in a giveaway is because for some reason these baby lipsticks feather on me. I don't know why. Even the Tom Ford baby lipstick that I have from the Boys and Girls collection, and it's such a pretty color, it feathers on me. And so I, I just don't even open these anymore. It, I've given up. I think I've had about five different baby lipsticks that just look bad on me. But I think that this color looks really pretty, and so hopefully it will look pretty on somebody else. And then we have the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. I just don't like these cream stick shadows. As dry as my under eye area is, my eyelids are oily AF, and whenever I try to use this type of product, it just slides off. I've tried several cream sticks and none of them work, so I'm gonna pass this along. Again, if you left a comment on the original video and said, hey, I wanna enter, you're in, you're done. Nothing more to do. If you have not seen that video, you don't have to go watch it. Just comment on this one, say, hey, I want it. If you are subscribed, you are entered. All you have to do. You don't need to follow me on any other forms of social media. You don't need to share me. You just need to be subscribed and comment and you're in. 
I will announce the winner of the giveaway on Friday, March the 2nd. I don't know what time. There's no way for me to predict when I'm going to be able to film. And so sometime on Friday, March the 2nd, I'm going to announce. I will private message the winner of the giveaway, and so far, I'm still a really small channel. I don't have that many entries. I have more than I expected, which is really fun, but you've got a really good chance, so go ahead and enter. If I don't get a response within a week, so that would be by Friday, March 9th, I will go ahead and draw again. So if you do win, please respond, because I'm excited to do this, and I want it to be fun. And if this giveaway goes really smoothly, as I hope it will, I'm gonna do more. So please don't make it hard on me. <laughs> if you have any questions, I do read my comments. I'm little enough where I can read and reply to everything. Warm fuzzy shout out to you. If you're watching this video on the toilet, follow me on Instagram, I will follow you back. Be sure to subscribe if you are not already. Throw me a pity like, give me some encouragement to make some more videos. And until next time, stay adorably obsessed with makeup.